The Prime Minister must have been the only person in the country who looked at that photo on Friday morning and thought that the Health Secretary shouldn't be sacked immediately. <laughs> on Friday, the Prime Minister's spokesperson said, quote, the Prime Minister considers the matter closed. <laughs> minister after minister were then sent out to defend the indefensible. Yeah. It was brief that the Prime Minister was quite happy for the Health Secretary to stay in his post. <laughs> So, can the Prime Minister clarify, now he's got the chance, did he sack the Health Secretary or at any point ask him to resign? Yes or no? Uh, Mr Speaker, the the, the Honourable Gentleman will notice that the the, the Health Secretary has changed uh, in the last five days. He complains about about the speed uh, with which that happened. This Government moved a positively lightning speed by comparison to the Right Honourable Gentleman opposite, who spent three days trying and failing uh, to, to sack his deputy leader, uh, Mr Speaker, who he, then, who he then promoted, who he then promoted, Mr Speaker. He fires and rehires. Uh, Mr Speaker, the, the deputy leader is sitting bis- beside me. The former, the, former health secretary, the former health secretary has done a runner. On, Mr Speaker, on Friday, the Prime Minister said the case was closed. Then on Monday, he tried to take the credit for the Health Secretary's resigning. In a minute, he'll be telling us he scored the winner last night. (laughs) But let me press the Prime Minister a bit more on this. The person the Health Secretary was in a relationship with was his non-executive director. Let me remind the House, according to the Government's own guidance, one of the roles of a non-executive director is to challenge the Secretary of State and the Department to challenge them, and they receive taxpayers' money for doing so. So from the offset, it was blindingly obvious that there was a conflict of interest here and a whole host of unanswered questions. Why on earth did the Prime Minister judge that this matter was closed on Friday morning? Mr Speaker, I, I hesitate to, to accuse the Right Honourable Gentleman of repeating his question. I observe that the non-executive director in question is also uh, no longer uh, with the department. And what the, what the continuity, Mr Speaker, is that that department is getting on with the fastest vaccine rollout of any, uh, of any European country. And I'm, actually, I'm proud to tell uh, this House that uh, this week, what, I'll tell you what's happened just in the last few days, uh, this country has actually overtaken Israel in the proportion of people we have vaccinated, Mr Speaker. And I think he might pay tribute to the Health Department for that achievement.